Hello, Gemini. How are you? So let's see what we have at the bottom of the deck. Ooh, the High Priestess. Secrets, being quiet, not speaking, um, being very sequestered, very spiritual, being very emotional at this time, but keeping it to yourself. The cut says the Six of Swords. You've moved out of a time in which someone, again, I don't think you're speaking to someone for which you have a great love. The Six of Swords says that you are definitely setting sail and putting your anchor down in a very beautiful place. And we have a Hanged Man and we have the Six of Swords. So even though you're moving forward, Gemini, I really see you still feeling like this pause energy. So let's go ahead and see what we have here for the past energy between you and your love interest. Past energy. The Hermit card. Okay, not really speaking, being alone, not being in union. Might be dealing with a Virgo. Four of Swords trying to heal some wounds. Weariness and rest after what feels like a long battle. Okay, we see the Six of Swords again. Six of Swords energy coming out. You've moved forward. So whatever it is, the healing that you've done, you have really have already moved forward by yourself after a period of healing. The Nine of Pentacles is coming out as a current energy. Somebody's moving slowly towards you. Again, we have two Virgo energies here. The Hermit and the Knight of Pentacles are both Virgos. So let's see what else we have. King of Pentacles. Okay, that's Taurus energy. So now we have the Pentacles mean that something is going to manifest is, and is manifesting currently even if it hasn't quite yet. Pentacles are what you can see and smell and touch. Ten of Pentacles. Oh my God, what is happening here? Okay, you're manifesting something new. You've moved forward after a period of being alone. But with all this earth sign energy, there could be someone coming back in, especially if they're Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. The Ten of Pentacles is coming in. That is a legacy relationship. That's wealth building. It means that you could be working on something that you've been learning about in the recent past. This could be all about your energy since you are moving ahead with the Six of Swords. The King of Pentacles says that you're having great success after a long burden or a long journey. Uh, of healing, but I do feel as though romantically speaking, this is somebody who's coming towards you who wants to have a committed relationship with you energetically. Both of you are open to this. This is a mutual energy currently. You're both working hard. You're both very successful. You look like you're both single people who are moving towards a significant commitment in a relationship. The Queen of Wands energy is at the bottom of the deck. As we can see, in the midst of all of this past and present energy, we have that Queen of Wands. So again, the Queen of Wands, you're both probably business people. You both know how to make decisions. You both are go-getters. So <laughs> it's very passionate energy also. Okay, so what does the whole future hold in store for Gemini? The Devil card, okay. Oh, the Nine of Swords. Time of Remorse and Regret. The Devil card is obsession of some sort, and temperance. Oh, wow. Thank heavens. Okay, so well, I'm going to clarify this energy, and at the bottom of the deck for the final energy, oh goodness, we have again the lover's card here. So, very interesting. Okay, so let's go ahead and clarify these. So what I'm seeing here, Gemini, is that you had a falling out in the recent past with a Virgo. Most likely. Doesn't have to be, but it looks like it is. Or else you have Virgo in your chart. It looks as though from the pre-shuffles that you're learning something that you've been very focused on career and your money and so is your person. I'm looking at the two of you trying to get stability. You're both very passionate, fiery people. But when I look at the future energy, I see you having remorse and regret about an obsessive quality, and this is in the future, of a relationship with a lover who appears to want, you both appear to want to make this work. So let's go ahead and look at the cards. Let's go ahead and clarify this energy for you. 
Okay, why do we have the Hermit card in the past for Gemini and Love? Why do we have Hermit in the past? Both of you are very clearly, you know, you're, you're so alone and you're on this sort of almost like an ivory tower, the lighthouse energy. You're on the lookout for your beloved. And it looks like this, both of you have been missing an action. You're both holding out is what it looks like. Both of you were hurt enough to not to want to jump into things. Okay, so it does appear that the clarifying card is that somebody walked away. It looks like they walked away in a huff. When you look at this card, you can really see that this person looks mad. Like, huh, that's it? I'm leaving. <laughs> and look at this, but in their heart space, we see that they really cared about you. We also see this Six of Cups wanting to return, being feeling so wounded, but they want to return. You both want to return to one another. Again, you were both mad in the past. You both still love each other. You both stopped speaking. And you both moved forward in the boat towards some sort of better situation in the future because it looks as though both of you want a stable relationship up to and including marriage. Now that is with each other, but you know, the Six of Swords energy shows that both of you are in the boat alone. So when we look at the Knight of Pentacles energy, we are looking at the King of Cups. So somebody who loves you very much has really not stopped loving you, nor you them. Again, these are all mutual energies. The King of Pentacles energy is the two of you love to talk about business. There is a soulmate connection here with the Two of Cups. We're really seeing two people that just love to converse, that love to strategize, that love talking about practical matters and business, that it was just a real sense of fulfillment, being very mutually supportive of each other. And, you know, that's currently how you feel, though neither of you are yet acting on it. It doesn't appear. Leave comments below, of course. Like, subscribe, share, of course. And here we have it. The Two of Wands energy shows that both of you are at a crossroads. You're both looking at, you know, what are you going to do here? Are you? It's a, the fork is in the road. You either go some other way to find your outcome in love, or you stick together. But you're going to have to make a decision. Let's see why the Queen of Wands is here. The Queen of Cups. So interestingly enough, there are two women who look like they're a very emotional queen who doesn't show it on the outside. So both of you are very practiced in business at appearing one way of being the boss, but you're ooey gooey and really, really emotional with each other. Cancerian love. You both love each other and you both have fire in your belly and you both have a lot of pride and you both want to be the boss. Okay. Current energy is the Six of Wands and the Five of Wands. So we've gone from a very, oh, you've both been obsessed with winning. Look at this. So moving into the future, it shows that, you know, what we're seeing here is a Five of Wands. That is ego-driven Leo energy. That is energy that says, I'm right. I want to be right. I want to win. I'll win at any cost. But really? when the cost is a relationship, because that's what you're facing. Now, let's see if the Six of Wands is a win for both of you. Is this a win-win situation for both of our beautiful friends here? Indeed it is. We have the Strength card, yay! Nice, okay. So what is it, why are you both losing sleep over this? Why are you both losing sleep? You have remorse and regret. You have your eyes all open at night. You can't sleep. Why do you have this card in the near future? Okay. King of Wands energy. Leo energy. Leo energy is, you know, when we look at the strength card, that's Leo energy. We look at the five and six of wands. So somebody may have a sun, moon, rising, or Venus of Leo. It could be a Virgo with a rising in, in Leo. And we're seeing that somebody has so much pride. And it does look like a masculine energy. Whether it is or not is another thing. The full card says that both of you want to reconcile the relationship and have a new beginning. Look at that. The Ace of Swords, you both have really been honest with each other. I don't see deception here in this relationship. You both have fire in your belly to make this work. 
and the Wheel of Fortune timing is right. So it does look like most of you will be confronted with the future and a decision to be made in the near future. The destiny is turning in your favor. Let's see what the Shaman Dream Oracle has to say for you. I am going to do an extended reading on just how your person feels and their thoughts, feelings, and intentions, okay? So we're going to look at how they feel about you emotionally, their thoughts, their feelings, their intentions, and then also their actions in the extended. Below is a link. Benefactor, oh, grace and generosity. Be graceful with each other. Be generous with each other. Let's get another one for you. Okay. Lay of the land, ancestral wisdom. So somebody has a lot of wisdom coming in here that they're re that they're going to rely upon. Gemini, interesting energy, ancestral wisdom. That looks like a very Lion King kind of sunset on the on the desert, doesn't it? A lot of heat there. So let's see what the Queen of the Moon Oracle has in terms of the energy, in terms of enlightening you. Before we go to the extended. Okay, and darkness. Oh, you've been in darkness for a long time. Both of you have been living in the dark and accepting, accepting the situation, accepting each other the way you really are. Not, you know, and it's also about getting out of your pride. It's more about letting go of this energy. Now that you really understand each other better, now that you know each other better, it does look like you're coming to the table with more tools to have clarity. So, okay, leaving it there, Gemini, see in the extended, if you get there, if you decide to go there in the meantime, love you. Thank you for your support. Sending you love from Chicago. Bye-bye.